Did Hero Brine stop at my island? No, actually, I just wanted some leaves. Uh, that was me. Who came by and beautified the entirety of this mountain? Just kidding, that was also me. You just got pranked. Hello, and welcome to episode eight of Society of Creation. Boom, baby. This is the longest series on my YouTube channel officially. It's going great. Uh, this episode, okay, we're gonna get right into it. Basically, I want to finish here onward. I want to get all of this basically finalized, which it means a lot of detailing, and it also means dealing with this entire wall and this beach. I don't know what I'm doing with either of them yet. We're gonna figure it out. So, uh, ooh, what about a waterfall? I think that's a great idea. I think, I think waterfall is high on the list. So, I don't know. I'm gonna think about it for a while and smack my face against this wall. How did I take no damage from that? I did a thing. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I literally just said screw it and just started working on stuff. So, let's give you the tour. The lovely tour. We have our greenhouse right in here. Very open concept, but um, there's a spider in my potatoes. Uh, the only thing I have growing is a singular potato crop. Um, so if, if you'll excuse me, um, this, okay, cool, we'll give me four potatoes. So, I figured potatoes, and then carrots, and then wheat, pretty standard. And then I thought maybe I could collect all the flowers or something, I don't know. Uh, plenty of barrels, trees, these are gonna become azalea trees when the cave update gets updated. Which might be this episode, I hope it is this episode, uh, that we switch to the cave update. And then, we have this lovely little waterfall um pretty dang nice um plenty of leaves but if it has a little secret if you come back here there's a cave i'm gonna put a chest right here and then add some gold around it and this is gonna be where we keep our enchanted golden apple kind of hidden behind the leaves and the water so it's like a secret cove if you will and then heading this way we have a pier that leads to nowhere um it's purely for decoration and uh it has two levels which is nice and yeah that's pretty much it i added details all over here and honestly we are really starting to look close to completion i guess right here if you will so very very exciting i'm gonna keep adding stuff just as i please uh the biggest area to work on right now is this area right here it's detailing with sand is so incredibly difficult so i will figure out stuff for that but there's your update maybe there'll be a time lapse maybe there won't i've currently just been having a great time adding details so yeah you know people call me stupid they're correct of course but you know ooh. oh my Anyway, so basically I have this We'll say interesting idea. I saw it on TikTok as I do most things. So you go down roughly five blocks, one oh shoot, and then like that maybe is that Okay, cool. Yeah, I did exactly what I was supposed to do. Okay, cool. And ta-da! We have ourselves an end portal with no frames. Um Great. <laughs> but basically now what we have to do is just kind of rip as much of this out as I can and get to work on making ourselves a fancy suit. Okay, really, suit. I was trying to talk. Okay, thank you. Um, Yeah, get ourselves a fancy schmancy portal room. Can I go under this? Whoa. Okay, let's get to work. I have a little bit of a problem with forgetting to press record. But, um... I did it. <laughs> I kind of went with the classic, just like overgrown, whatever vibes. Um, pretty standard, nothing too crazy. Uh, the portal's right here, looking snazzy. And yeah, that's really it. Cowabunga, wee. I have to go get a flint and steel to light that portal, but until then, uh, I just angered an enderman. I missed the portal. Okay, until then, we're gonna, I don't know, just go i don't know something that literally did not need to be done in the slightest like i did not need to fix that portal up um but i did so yeah i guess y'all are just gonna have to deal with it 
Ladies and gentlemen, we are on... Why is that a box? We are on the cave update. So you know what that means. It's time to abuse the, the market and get us some lush stuff before anyone else can. I think, if I remember correctly, it can only be found in shipwrecks. So that's what I'm looking for. I haven't found any sunken shipwrecks yet, but I found these idiots. Moobloom should have won. Whoa, where did you come from? Do you guys think that these things can have them? Because I've found quite a few of them now, and none of them have had any. Oh, hello. Um, yeah, I really haven't found much of anything. I did get some raw fish. If I can find some dolphins, then maybe I can get them to lead me to a shipwreck. But we'll see what happens with that. Moment of truth, baby. I don't even know if these are in unloaded chunks and they might even have lush stuff. Uh, I don't know if that's the right chest. Uh, man, is that the only chest here? Uh, back in my dang boat I go. I've moved on to better and adaptive ways of travel. And I tell you, I've found the 10 ocean ruins, 8 ruin portals, and like 7 villages. I'm not joking. I've literally found, I think, 2 shipwrecks. And I've found so many structures. And other than that, nothing. It is incredibly agitating. Oh, make that ten ocean ruins. Shipwreck number three. This looks like a big boy. <gasps> oh my god, wait. There's... Freaking yes! 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 Oh my god! That's all I need. Oh my god, that is all I needed. Let's go home and just start grinding this. One whole block. Oh my god. Oh, this is great. This is fantastic. Okay, so I figured I'd come down to diamond level, you know, and just bone meal this. And then maybe, maybe it'll let me, like like have a little strip mine i don't know if this is a strip mine method but i know it eats everything around it so okay it doesn't do a good job of eating everything around it i how does this work oh, okay What is its ideal method of- oh! This actually allows me to do something I've been wanting to do, which is take out these trees and switch them with the azalea trees. Because it'll look a lot better, a lot nicer. Ta-da! Azalea tree! And the same thing on the other side. Boom! Azalea trees. Lovely! The other thing that I love so much- Oh, you can't place this on sand? That's sad. Um, is how you can do this, and then boom, you got a, you got a bush, a lovely bush, 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 and a bush. And also, these moss carpets are so lovely. Ugh, I love this update so much. Alrighty, um, this was one stack of bone meal. That was all that was necessary to get all of this moss. So that's fun. Little fun little snippet of information. Uh, basically what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm not gonna make a shop tonight. I was feeling ambitious, but I've changed my mind. Basically what it's gonna happen is I'm gonna put as much of this away as I can and then put some azalea trees just around the, uh, I think just around the area of the island. And yeah, I'm gonna call it a night then. Okay, I've actually got a couple things I gotta show off. First being, I went mining and got a bunch of things. One of them being, where'd they go? Where did I put them? Here they are. I got some glow berries. Obviously, I bone mealed these. Fun fact, they're incredibly easy to farm. Uh, another thing that I got is some dripstone. Honestly, I don't know how you grow it. Um, I don't know if you just let it sit or what, but 
that's there next to my roots. And then I got a literal ton of just this stuff. All of the raw um, stuff. So raw iron, copper, and all that goodies. And then lastly, this has nothing to do with me going mining, but if you look right here, we have our lovely finished house. This one's not done. This one is though. I actually really like this house. My favorite part is the roof. Look at this. Look at what a great job they did with the, with the stinking, oh my gosh, I love it. I love it so much. So this house is honestly probably my favorite part of this island at the moment, but yeah, so we have a house. I'm gonna make this an entire town area. This house gotta do its thing. But other than that, I think we're good to continue building. I wanted to go get some of the new stuff and I did that, so. I guess a little bit of an explanation for this. This is the only time lapse that you will see this episode because with the new update came a lot of issues with the replay mod and all that stuff. So uh, this is me building a shop for all of the brand new lush blocks that came in this update. Figured I'd start selling them and obviously make all that profit. So I decided to go with a big old tree that has some vines hanging down. And I think it turned out pretty okay. Trees are really hard for me, so I'm pretty okay with it. I'm sure this is probably a big jump from the last clip you just saw, but here is the final product of the whole tree, I guess. Um, I added the, 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 the glow berries. I added glow berries, I added some mushrooms down here, I extended the path right here, and I also brought out all of our stock that we have and labeled everything accordingly. So this thing is now officially open. As I was trying to work out the tree, fun fact, I hate building trees, they're so difficult, it's a process, but as I was building this tree, uh, I asked the other members of the server for help, and I think it was Ryan that said it looks like a mushroom, and I agree. It's a thick stem with not a lot of leaves. So I've, I've dubbed this shop the mush tree or mush tree. I don't know. It, it doesn't work as a pun. And that's what I think makes it so funny. But uh, yeah, the mush tree is, is open. It's great. And uh, I mean, from down here, you can't really tell that it's like, I don't know, not the scale or anything but i think it looks good and then obviously all around we have some of the lush stuff blah 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 blah. okay so i don't know what else i want to do this episode you know what? let's head back to the base and look around and see if there's anything else i want to do before i wrap up this episode freaking ouchy pain i love this island not gonna lie just how completed it feels on this side of the island like obviously when you're above it could feel like a little overgrown but once you land it's really just an environment which is exactly what i want there is head is so tall i forgot i was gonna like put some bamboo around and this thing just grew to so high okay so if you remember did i show this orb i feel like i did Okay, so I'm pretty sure I've talked about this already. This is our little house and everything. That is just like flat on top. Okay, this house is obviously done. This one over here is not. And I still gotta figure out what I wanna do here. So I think that the way we're gonna end off this final episode, final episode, the rest of this episode, is we're going to be working on this little town area. We're gonna get rid of our beacon and our furnaces and all that really make this feel completed and then at that point i mean if you look at this island we're like halfway done that feels crazy to say once we finish this and that we're halfway done that's crazy okay so i'm gonna go really quick find some mental capacity to build the rest of this and i think we might just jump right into a time lapse right now shablamo i know i said there was gonna be a recording there wasn't um yeah i just kind of cranked it around and we have ourselves a lovely little village right here and i actually am very very happy with how it turned out uh i think i like the idea of there being some natives there's no interiors i'll do it next episode or something um but i have this lovely little path and yeah i actually really love 
how this entire thing turned out. I loved using some of the new blocks. It was great. Why do I have all these items? It's lovely. But I can now officially say two things. First of all, we are halfway done with this island. We have done all of this good stuff all the way to here. And if you fly on out, you will see that is half of this island. And I cannot wait to work on the second half. But the other thing I can say is this is episode 8. We are officially on the longest series on my YouTube channel. I know it's not that big of a feat, but it's something. We have just been... Why is there tall bamboo again? We have just been cranking this out, and I am super happy with how everything's going. So, if you enjoyed this episode, please give it a thumbs up below. Above, I don't forget somewhere and also if you have any ideas of what I should do on this second half of the island Leave it in the comment section below. I need as many ideas as I can get But thank you for watching this episode, and I will see you guys in the next one Bye, -bye!